Hi guys, welcome back to another GGF video review. Today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at the ADATA HD 720 portable hard drive. Now we've got the one terabyte version. Now we can't really go on too much about a portable hard drive, so it should be a short video, but we mainly want to cover some of the features that this uh, unit has. As you can see, it is quite funky looking. Uh, it's got this rubber sort of, sort of sleeve over it, and then it's got some plastic shock proof structure uh, built into it. So the main features with this is uh, this is the box if you're interested. The main features with this is it is uh, waterproof, uh, IPX8 standard if you want to check out that standard. So that's submerged in two meters of water for 120 minutes. Now that's quite long. You're pretty much not going to put a drive in uh, that much water for that long. Uh, dustproof IP6X uh, standard, uh, full uh, protection against dust. So we got our, uh, I'm gonna use this dirt as dust, not quite dust, it's pretty hard to collect a tub of dust. And then we got a tub of water. I've already done this a few times already, but I'm just gonna do it in this video to show you that this uh, unit can withstand uh, these two tests. It's also uh, military grade shockproof, uh, up to 1.8 meters drop. Now that's pretty much a standard, uh, quite a tall person dropping from head height. Uh, it's actually got a uh, G-Shock sensor built in. Now, it, it says on the website, if it detects shock while transferring data, it enables the shock sensor. And when the light is flashing red, that means this uh, sensor is enabled. Now, with the other some of the lights on it, when it's blue, normal, that means it's powered on. When it's blue flashing, it means there's data transfer going on. So it's pretty sweet. And that light just comes through the uh, comes through these little holes there. Now, bear in mind, you might see these holes here. These aren't holes that the water will pass through and get into the drive because you actually seal the USB uh, input plug with this little cap here. So don't worry about these little holes because the rest of the unit is completely sealed. So I'll actually pull it apart in a tick and show you that. Um, some of the other, other uh, uh, features, three layer shockproof design, and then it's got a wraparound uh, sort of cable stay, sort, sort of like this. It does actually hold it quite nicely. I'm not, not sure if other people will, will do that, but it just comes like that. I'll slide it up a bit clips in like that so it does actually stay quite strong so that's not moving so th that is quite nice now I'm gonna throw this in e each one of these I'll start with the dirt first uh, so I can clean it off in the water now the only issue uh, I see with this is you have to make sure uh, to make it fully water and dust protective you have to make sure this uh, flap is sealed now at the moment that that is not sealed so that's just uh, staying closed. It's got a little groove that slots into the actual USB 3.0 port. Now, as you can see, that is in there now and it doesn't want to come out. Now, bear in mind though, I do find that if it's a little bit loose, see that just popped out then. So if you've got this in your bag, in your pocket, there's a good sort of chance that this flap could come open just before you jump into a pool. And then you're probably going to um, not use the feature. So I would have liked this strap to maybe wrap around and then clip onto the back and be more sort of stable rather than just being pushed in. So so I know now that is sealed and it won't come out because it's just it's just like that. So I, I'm just gonna pour this around in here like this, wrap it around. Now being in the dirt, I still have to make sure this little clip, the flap doesn't open back up. So definitely I would prefer that there is a little clip to hold that in. All right, so I'm just sort of throwing that around, really rubbing that in. Now, I'm not sure how many other hard drives are out there that you can actually do this to, um, but this is definitely one. See, look, that's all inside the little casing there. It's everywhere. All right, so well, what I'm gonna do now is drop it in here. Give it a good rinsing. We're making a mess everywhere. All right, now, I can't really test the shockproof. Um, that's not a, a measurement I, I can sort of test. I can keep on dropping it, so I can't really test the shockproof of it, but um, this isn't testing it to the full extent. I don't have to, uh, two meters of water to test with, and I'm not gonna sit here for an hour, um, two hours or so. All right, so that's, um, just let me wash, dry my hands. All right, so that's in there like that. So I can fully now clean this off, and this is still usable, and it's fully sealed, and there's no water in there at all. So say, say this, that this does get dirty, uh, you're out somewhere, you're camping, who knows, you might need a drive when you're camping. What, what you can do now is simply clean this pouch like so, that it comes in. And then I can clean the rest of the drive 
just like this because the drive is fully sealed itself. But sorry, I'm actually making quite a bit of mess, but I just wanted to illustrate how this unit does operate. So I can clean the drive like so. Like that. And then all you have to do now is let this pouch dry. The odds are this is, isn't gonna happen to everybody on a daily basis. So it is good for the one-off chance that it does happen to you. Now bear in mind, I have had plenty of portable hard drives in the past, the Western Digital Seagate. It's not the drive's fault, it's more or less my fault. I sort of treat portable drives like USB keys. I'm always throwing them around, throwing them in bags, dropping them, and I have endless drives uh, die. So this is a great solution for someone who's uh, someone who's always uh, out and about, or they seem to always uh, have uh, portable USB drives die uh, all the time, because this will really uh, really help you out with the sort of the um, G-Shock sensor and the rubber casing on the side um, that wraps around like that. So all you have to do now is let it dry, and that is good to go. Uh, you can still use it right now, but I um, I'd normally just let this uh, casing dry because it gets all all wet in there. Um, if you're wondering about the speeds, this is USB 3.0 based. Um, I ha haven't done too much extensive testing. Like, well, what can you what can you do on a portable hard drive? I've copied data to it. I've copied data off it. Uh, it pretty much gets the same read and write speed. I average around 110 uh, megabytes a second, so that is megabytes, uh, not megabits. So yeah, 110 megabytes a second down to about 100 megabytes. I think I saw it dip down to 96 once, but definitely stays between 100 to 110, and that's read and write. So I was really happy with those speeds, like copying uh, large chunks of data at that speed, that's nearly as fast as your internal hard drive, so you're not gonna have any issues with transferring data. The cable, I think, is, is sort of the right length for a portable hard drive. You don't need anything too, too crazy these days. And if you're wondering about the price, this retails for, the cheapest I found in Australia was $111. So I'm not sure in terms of prices of portable hard drives these days, uh, $111, I guess, for something that's got all these certifications. One terabyte storage is still beefy. I think that's a pretty sweet deal. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, nothing too crazy. Just wanted to give you a rundown and show you uh, how this sort of unit works and how it performs. I just want to thank Adata for shooting this over to do a review on. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.